question. The vast majority of children and young people are a credit to themselves, their families and their communities. I believe that every child and young person in London should be able to grow and reach their potential free from the danger of crime and violence. That's why keeping children and young people safe forms part of my draft police and crime plan. The plan sets up my view that effective targeted prevention is the key to protecting children and young people and reducing crime over the long period. The draft plan also emphasises the important role that the police, working with schools, health services, local authorities and others can play in early identification, assessment and targeted support to prevent young people from becoming offenders themselves. My priority is to ensure London's 32 boroughs are able to respond to crime and community safety challenges and to make Londoners from all these boroughs have access to appropriate services. And that's why I've maintained and protected the overall London Crime Prevention Fund budget for the next four years, despite the significant fiscal challenges we face. Boroughs were asked to submit a proposal by December the 23rd, outlining their plans and local priorities for spend, and this has allowed boroughs to allocate spending according to the local uh, need. A proportion of the LCPF funds will be redirected into a joint pot to support sub-regional and regional commissioning. This is because some of the most complex challenges we face in policing, our capital can't be solved by one borough uh, alone. Okay, well, thank you for your answer. I don't know if you've seen uh, the report that I put out yesterday um, called London's Lost Youth Services. It looks at the latest, latest funding figures from councils and it's, it's quite shocking. It does show that they've had to cut more than a third of their budgets for youth services uh, since 2011, um, that they've lost hundreds of youth workers, that some of them are down to just a handful of youth centres and that they also do have more cuts planned for this financial year, a further quarter and already shrunken budgets. Um, I think this is a real crisis and it's really hard because councils are increasingly cash strapped. The duty they have, the precise duty to provide youth services, it isn't clear at all. Now you've been quite clear in your strategy document so far in the police and crime plan draft that prevention is key to protecting young people and reducing crime over the long term. So are you worried that these cutbacks in local council services that, that help young people live better lives and keep them away from crime, you think that's going to risk your wider goals for crime prevention? Uh, I mean, I, I recognise uh, the huge cuts faced in local authorities as a consequence of central government uh, cuts. We are one of the most centralised countries in the Western world because local authorities rely upon a significant amount of their budget from central government. And clearly when there's cuts made from central government, that has a knock-on impact on services councils can uh, provide. And one of the reasons why I'm keen to have this funding available for councils to bid for is you're right, prevention is better than cure. Actually, the cost of somebody being you know, ch arrested, charged, prosecuted, is so high compared to providing decent facilities to give young people something constructive to do, uh, rather than the, the price we pay. And that's just the economics. Think about the social uh, and human waste. Okay, uh, I mean, that's really good. I, I really want to have a discussion there about what you see as your strategic role in London. Um, I mean, boroughs do have this problem. You do have the London Crime Prevention Fund, and the existence of that fund in itself, I think, does admit that there's some kind of obligation on you to, to mitigate this problem. So will you be talking to boroughs about practical ways you might help them, uh, maybe by boosting that fund? I always talk to London councils about how they can spend the precious resources they've got um, uh, to, to help their constituents, my constituents, but also to see how we can work together to, to, to save monies. And so, of course, I'll talk to them because, you know, the reality is Young people get a bad name for a small minority acting badly. The vast, vast majority, are, as I said in my answer, are credited themselves, and we've got to do what we can to help all of them fulfil their potential. Okay, um, great. During um, the mayoral campaign, like me, you did sign up to the Invest in Youth Work pledge, which was written by young people, supported by the Rio Ferdinand Foundation and Change.org, signed by 41,000 young people. Um, in that pledge, we, we both promised to meet with the campaign uh, if we were elected mayor. Uh, will, you, will you meet them now and talk to them about practical things you can do to help youth services in London? I'd be happy to. Great, thank you. Thank you very much. Assembly